financial Bitcoin and crypto are in the green today, despite equities being a little bit wobbly. We've got the S&P about 0.5% off from official bear market territory. We know that crypto up till now for many, many months, I've been saying we've been hugely correlated to the equities market, but today has given us a glimmer that maybe, just maybe, we could be starting to see a decoupling. Now, we're going to dive into that. I'm also going to show you the one thing which I found, which could suggest that we could keep pumping to the upside. I'm going to show you this really interesting. So make sure you watch the video till the very end. Hit up the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, if you like my perspective, check out the course member live streams, ijaz.uk forward slash member, where we literally just discussed some of these things with members. So if I come on over to the daily chart here on crypto you can on bitcoin you can see that we're managing to get a nice run right we're up 5% today uh, we managed to bounce quite nicely from our second pivot point on the triangle pattern we were breaking down you can see the first one didn't hold we came to the second pivot point with lows at around 28500 i believe and then we managed to bounce up a nice big uh, bullish push you can see rsi topping out getting us to the 30,000 mark we now need to hold 30,000 and start working towards 31 remember that's this important neckline uh, let's extend that neckline so everybody can see let's bring oops oops let's bring that across that 31 line we need to get above it and then work towards 32 now if we're unable to or if we get rejected for any reasons and we create the lower low again then we have to again go back to the pivot point so ideally we can get above 32 31 hold get above 32 and start working our way up if we don't and we see a rejection this is not good particularly if the rejection gets lower than this point so if we get here and continue to go down then we're worrying about price points at 26 okay so that's what we're looking out for here on crypto but the more interesting thing is how are we managing to run five percent today when if you head on over to the equities you can see the dow jones down 0.86 percent no point three five on the s p and just 0.4 percent on the nasdaq nasdaq is literally only green right now the s p is literally trying to protect itself from tumbling into an official bear market it's a couple of like 0.5 percent off of heading into an official bear market 20 percent correction from all-time highs so the markets are getting absolutely blasted right now dow jones yesterday had its worst day since 2020 target a blue chip u.s company has had posted its worst day yesterday losing 25 percent in market cap okay worst day since trading so if you think crypto is bad and you're feeling it a little bit volatile what do you expect when the whole world is expecting this global slowdown and you've got jerome powell saying he's going to do what it takes to bring down inflation okay so we need to understand what that backdrop is and interestingly crypto has said hang on a second we're bouncing back from this level now is this just temporary or is this going to continue to uh allow us to pump to the upside well i think i found the correlation which explains exactly what is going on and it comes back to the dixie if you head on to the dixie which is the dollar index you remember that we were sharing this pattern uh many times here on this channel and what we were showing you was the rejection point and what i what i showed you let me just zoom out i'm going to go to the weekly in fact to show you this it's a little bit easier there we have it we showed that here in recent history dating back all the way uh, this is 2016. We got rejected at this point, rejected this point, rejected this point. And these moments were when Bitcoin went on its best runs at these exact rejection points, which I've labeled. Now, you could see we broke out of this point, which is why crypto suffered so badly. If I now go to the daily chart, watch this. If I go to the daily chart and look at the dollar index here, what do we notice? We notice that the best day for the dollar index was this day right here, May the 12th. That's where it topped out. Ever since then, one, two, three, a little bit of a relief, four days of red candles to the downside. So we topped out here at 104, and now the dollar index is literally ticking down right now, sitting at 102. So remember May the 12th. Now let's go back to Bitcoin. What happened on May the 12th? Many of you already know. May the 12th was our horrible, horrible red candle. In fact, let's get a clean chart so we don't have to do it on this messy one. Let's go back to May the 12th was this horrible candle with the whole lunar disaster wicking to our lows of 23,878. The dollar index peaked and Bitcoin hit its lowest price at 23,800. So the answer to our questions is Bitcoin can indeed continue to 32, 34 and beyond if the dollar index continues to call off, if the dollar index continues to call off. Now, the good news here on the dollar index is we're hugely extended. We're hugely extended here on the dollar index. 
and there is room for it to come back down to its uh it's moving average here okay that's a 200 moving average and if it does trend here for a, a couple of weeks that could set us up for a nice move on crypto so definitely something i want to continue to monitor now if for some reason we don't see that and dollar index is just bouncing off of ecma and going to continue roaring higher then we could see more downside for crypto then i'll continue to look out for the 24,000 on crypto but look at that look at that steep rise in the dollar index right now and part of that is to do with the war part of that is to do with supply chain issues uh the dollar index is just going from strength to strength which is bad for crypto okay so really important pattern for us to monitor coming back to this what am i doing i'm expecting i'm at, right now i'm in kind of a neutral territory here on crypto let's tidy up this chart let's take that off get into the hourly here let's bring us zoomed in and what i'm expecting here on the hourly is I want to see us get through 31. If we can get through 31 and start building towards 32, then good. We can start saying, okay, that's an important step for us to start recovering because then your technical target from this chart pattern comes into play at about 37 up here, okay? If we're unable to, and we end up just getting a test or a rejection here, this is then back uh, bearish again. Then, then I want to continue to hold out for some lower price points there, okay? Now, do I think we're you know fully decoupled do i think that's now the new status quo that we've managed to decouple away um from uh the equity markets no not yet it's too soon to say but it's an interesting observation which we haven't seen we've been monitoring the markets daily together and we've seen that if nasdaq comes out with a certain bad day crypto is not having a good day despite what news we were getting we were getting feature launches we were getting el salvador with another purchase we were getting do Kwan at the time buying bitcoin we had jack mallers launching the shopify integration no catalyst was helping us move if the equity markets were down today we've got the equity markets flat but bitcoin has decided it wants to bounce from that level it was too low and that was definitely an isolated decision for bitcoin we can see the correlation to the dixie which has naturally helped the bitcoin move more positive towards the dollar so maybe more than bitcoin strengthening it's the dollar weakening in the comparison of the trading pair so there you have it guys hope you enjoyed this video as always if you like this type of content then make sure you hit up the like button make sure you subscribe if you like my perspective consider checking out the course member live streams ejars.uk forward slash member we've literally just jumped off of a course member live stream had all our members in there we record the session so if you can't make the lives you can watch it later on we do technical analysis fundamental analysis macro things like we just discussed here i discuss what i'm doing with my portfolio when am i buying when am i nibbling do i think we're going to go higher do we think we're going to go lower and we sit there and we can answer your questions because crypto investing can be a lonely place particularly in this bear market and if we're going to be in this kind of bear market for a while we need to make the right decisions we need to make sure we're accumulating in the right portfolio allocations to protect ourselves from things such as luna right so many people lost so much net worth from just not protecting their portfolio allocations so really important that we take that serious as always guys i'm going to link up a video to my video from early on today to explain if do Kwan has rigged this vote for the luna fork so go watch that video and there's also another video which i'm going to link up which is what are the coins that i'm buying right now and why where do i think they're going to head to go watch those two videos leave me a comment over there and i'll see you in the next one